Hi, I'm Tom for BFID and in this tutorial I will show you how to create suspended buffer ceiling like this in your Revit project and we'll be using a family that you can download for free on BIM object. It's important to note that this family can only be used to create suspended buffer ceiling which has square or rectangular footprint. I'll be releasing another tutorial uh, where I will show a different technique which will enable you to create suspended buffer ceiling in um, different shapes. But in this tutorial I will show you how to create rectangular or square footprint buffer ceiling. Let's get started with the starting file. And in this file I don't have the suspended buffer ceiling. And it's a project of a small spa. And in this room, I would like to create my suspended buffer ceiling. So the room has a square footprint or rectangular. And to create the buffer ceiling, we will go to the BIM object site, which I suppose all of you know. And we will download a family which is a Buffalo family and it's from the company called Lindner. So we will type it into the search box. There are several Buffalo um, ceiling families, but uh, I checked some of them and I think the best one for the simple uh, suspended Buffalo ceiling is this Lindner family LMD L601. So we will click on it and we will download the family and we will download the f uh, Revit file. Okay, and now let's open the file. We will upgrade the model from Revit 2014 to 2021. And here we've got the suspended Lindner buffer ceiling family which we will be using. The nice thing about this family is that it's fully parametric but it's important to note that this family is categorized as generic model. It's not a ceiling model. So it will be placed on our level. And also don't be confused by the detail levels when I uh, switch preview visibility to on. In the medium uh, detail level, it's just it, lo it looks just like this. We have to switch to fine level to see all of the details of the of the buffer ceiling. So let's load the family into our project. And because it's generic model, we will be placing it on a floor plan, not on a ceiling plan, but on a floor plan. And you can see here that the default ceiling height is 2600 millimeters in my case. So when I'm placing the family, it's not visible in the floor plan because it's out of the range but that doesn't matter to me that much now and I will place it somewhere into the into the room so I will click here I get the warning that it's not visible I hit escape but I'm quite confident that the family is placed there we will go to this section view to see where we place the family and you can already see that the family is placed here. Sometimes be careful uh, to set the detail level to fine because when you set the detail level to medium you will see just, uh, just, uh, just this uh, extrusion. So we want to work with the detail level fine so we see all of our baffles. So I'll start setting up the family you can, see, you can see that I want to have the bottom of my baffles to be 2300 millimeters above the floor. So I will click my family and I can use these parameters to set up the family. So the ceiling height will be 2300. It's the bottom of the baffles, this ceiling height. Okay, so it's set up. Now I want to have the proper sizes and number of my baffles. So the buffer thickness I will change to 60 millimeters so they are a bit thicker. Uh, if you want to see if I set 
150 they will be really thick so let's change the buffer thickness to 40 millimeters and I want to have buffer center distance the distance between uh, buffers uh, to be to be uh, 100 millimeters and you can see that the family automatically calculates the number of buffers that are needed to have these parameters also this buffer height is too high because it will be running up to the ceiling so I want to have the buffer height 100 and now it's starting to look good when we take a look at the camera you can see that the buffers are starting to look pretty good now to set up the construction on which the buffer hangs the parameters are not set up too friendly here you've got the hangers height if we change that to let's say 150 uh, the height changes it's this height but if i change it to 50 and i will create the dimension the height is kind of it's kind of weird it's not from here and it's uh, it's not even from from here so to have it aligned to the to the ceiling we have to kind of uh, calculate it or just uh, use you see now it's 83 I want to uh, I want to dimension this this line let's change the scale so nice so I want to have nine more millimeters so the buff hangers height will be 89 89 millimeters and now it's now it's up to the ceiling set up properly I will delete these dimensions so this this parameter is not set up too user friendly but you can set it up like this so even the hangers are properly uh, have proper length the heights are set up properly so now let's take a look at the footprint of the buffer ceiling but we will have to take a look at the ceiling plan and if i zoom in on the room you can see that the footprint is not proper be careful again to have the have the detail level set up to fine because if I have just medium I will see the buffer ceiling just like this so I will set it up to fine the first thing I will do I will rotate the ceiling because I want my buffers to run from right to left not from top to bottom so I will select the family rotate and I will rotate it by 90 degrees like this now you can see these shape handles the family is set up nicely so that I can change the size of the family with these shape handles so you can see that I can drag it takes some time to calculate but I can drag it up to the wall here calculates I can drag it up to the wall here and it snaps to the wall I can drag it up to the wall here and also here and this is how I set up the footprint of my buffer ceiling okay so if I take a look at my uh, camera view you can see that the buffer ceiling looks nice but I don't want to have this first buffer uh, located just at the, at, the, at the wall. I want to have it offset by the 16 millimeters. So I will have to change that in my ceiling plan. So first again I will make the buffer ceiling a little bit smaller from these two sides. And I will create I will create a detail line which will be offset by 60 from uh, from this this wall and from this wall so these are my helping lines now I will drag the 
buffer ceiling up to this line and it should oops it should snap to the line it always takes some time to calculate so drop it properly and drop it properly here okay now i will delete these these uh, helper lines you can see when i do the dimensioning oops that it's those 60 millimeters that i wanted to have the offset so now this one doesn't start at the directly at the wall now if you don't care about materials this is enough for you and the buffer ceiling is complete but if you take uh, take care about the materials you can see that the materials are not i want to have the buffer ceiling not metal but i want to have it wood material so now we will take a look at how to adjust this family so it will we will we could assign materials to it in our project when we Click at the family and go to edit type. You can see that there's material secondary and material main. And the main material, when we change it, there's this drop down menu. And the secondary material, there's again this drop down menu. And we cannot select the uh, material for the, for, the, for the family. These are materials that are text based and they are not uh, materials which will show in our renderings or in our views. So we have to adjust the family. So if we select the family and go to edit the family. First thing we want to set up is the material of our baffles. As you can see, when I hover over the baffle, it's in the group. So I have to hit tab to select not the group but the buffle and you can see that this buffle is uh, is nested family it's a generic model so when we go to edit type you can see the buffle material is set up to by category and we can click these three dots and create a new material and we will name it buffle material okay we will be type and we will assign it to be uh, this buffer material we hit ok we load the family into our project we override the existing version and if we select the family go to edit type you can see that there's this buffer material so we can click these three dots here it will open material browser and I will select walnut, walnut wood. I will hit OK, OK. When we take a look at the when we take a look at the family, you can see that the baffles take uh, the material that we have uh, set up. Now we want to also set up the material for the construction or the hangers of the buffer ceiling, and this will be a bit more complicated. We have to go to the edit, uh, edit the baffle ceiling family, and you can see again that the hangers are again in the model groups. So to edit the instance, I will hit tab again to select the instance, and you can see that it's nested family again. So I'll go to edit type. The material secondary here, I will actually create a new one which will be material construction. Okay, okay. But now you can see that uh, we've got this material applied to it. We will hit OK, then load it into our family again, overwrite. And now let's change Go to edit family and assign the material construction and we will change it and let's change it to some we will use this red so we will see clearly how it's applied 
So hit OK, OK. And now if I hit Escape, and actually to better see it, I will uh, change my visual style to shaded. You can see that these main uh, cons these main pieces have changed the material according to what I have set up. But these are not red. These are still some different material. So we will have to change these two in our family editor. So again, let's select the family, go to edit family. And when I hit tab, I will select this, uh, this family. And actually, I will have to edit this nested family. So I will go to edit family. And you can see that this part is just my family. This uh, piece that's changed the color accordingly is just a generic model here. Again. Uh, but these parts again are grouped. When I hit tab and select one of the pieces in the, in the group, it's again nested family in the nested family. So I will edit this family. And here you can see that this is, uh, this is just uh, extrusion. So let's go to the material and apply the material to it. And I will name it material construction and hit OK. Hit apply. I can actually, I can actually delete this material secondary. And I will load this and close it into the project. But I have to be careful where I load it. I don't want to load it in my main project. I want to load it into the rail nested family. Okay, I don't want to save changes here. I will overwrite it here. And here I will select the family and material construction. I will apply a material again. I will create a new one material. Construction. And it will be type and I will assign it. And again, just to make it more straightforward, I will delete the material secondary. It doesn't matter. Okay, now let's load it into the family, uh, the, family the ceiling family, overwrite this, and load this into our project. So now the construction has the same material applied, but it's not the red one that we wanted. So let's go to edit family again and make sure that all of these all of these families have material construction the material construction parameter applied so let's select this one let's edit the family and let's select this piece here it has got the wrong material we want to have this Part applied to it and again even in this family we want to have it material construction so let's load it into the project okay now let's load this into the project overwrite and let's load it into our main project and overwrite the existing family. So now you can see that the construction, the hangers, all of them are red. So we can uh, edit family type and the material construction. We can change it from red to, let's say, this uh, aluminium material. So it's properly, we don't want to be <laughs> red. So the buffer ceiling, including the materials, is complete. And you can reuse this, this family in multiple projects that you want. I will post a link to the original Lindner family to the description box below. I will also post a link uh, to my uh, different tutorial, to my second tutorial on buffer ceilings, which uh, I will show the technique where I will create the buffer ceiling 
with the shape that it's not square or rectangular. If this tutorial helped you, smash that like button and take care.